Hey guys, welcome to my video where I discuss the different shoulder uh, problems that patients come in with. And I'll be discussing adhesive capsulitis, rotator cuff tear, uh, rotator cuff impingement, and biceps tendinopathy or rupture. So adhesive capsulitis has a patient coming in primarily with complaints of stiffness. So it's stiffness above everything else. It's more stiffness then it is pain or weakness. And another hallmark of adhesive capsulitis is that on examination, you have a decreased passive range of motion. And what that really means is an active range of motion is when you're giving resistance to them making the movement. A passive means they're just, they're having problems moving, doing that movement on their own. So adhesive capsulitis actually is associated with systemic disease. So systemic diseases like thyroid, diabetes, are oftentimes found in patients with adhesive capsulitis, and it's uh, hypothesized that those are contributing factors. Mainly, when I spoke before in the previous video, I talked about the importance of abduction and external or lateral rotation, and indeed, on these patients, have a decreased range of motion when you have to, we're talking about abduction less than 90 degrees and external rotation less than 30 degrees. These are very difficult for these patients. When we talk about rotator cuff tear, we're actually talking about two completely different diseases. So there's an acute and there's a chronic, and they could not be more different. So acute rotator cuff tear is usually preceded by a trauma, and we're talking about a young person under 40. And surgery is a good, they're a good surgical candidate. However, when you talk about an elderly patient with a chronic rotator cuff tear, there are people who have degeneration over several years. It's a very slow onset disease, but they usually come in with fibrosis. And since they don't have really good use of their muscles, they're not such great surgical candidates. So you want to go for the more conservative methods first. And remember, something like a rotator cuff tear is going to be diagnosed by an ultrasound or an MRI. The rotator cuff impingement. So basically, sometimes what happens is, in this, especially with the supraspinatus um, in the rotator cuff, if there's some inflammation, it gets caught under the subacromial space, and you have someone who, if they're doing the abduction anywhere from 45 to 160 degrees, they're going to have a, what is called a painful arc. In biceps tendinopathy, you have something called anterior pain. And that's something you don't see in the other ones that I just spoke of, anterior pain usually these are, you know, especially rotator cuff tear and rotator cuff impingement, you have lateral pain. In the case of biceps tendinopathy, we're talking about interior shoulder pain. And usually, um, you know, you can kind of make your diagnosis if you do a forced contraction of the biceps muscle. Rupture of the biceps is more of an acute onset. You can just hear it happen. It's usually on the forced uh, extension and there's a huge poppy noise. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe.